2K just released some more information regarding the pro and mode, so let's jump right into it. First up, let's talk about how the CPU players will work on your team. 2K made a smooth move here. All CPU players are going to be very mediocre. They're not gonna be dominating the game. If you've ever played the Jordan Rec Center, for example, and somebody's dropped out on the other team, a lot of times that actually makes their team better because their CPU player will grab all the boards, he'll make all of his shots, he'll start dominating the game. He'll be jumping the passing lanes, getting all kinds of steals, but 2K said in their live stream that this year the CPU players are not gonna be very good. So you actually don't wanna have CPU players. You only wanna have them if you don't have anybody else to play with, but you definitely don't want that to be your strategy. And this is good because online, in the past, defending the CPU and going up against them, it's a pain. It, it just messes up the flow. So now human players will have a clear advantage online going up against the CPU. So you don't want that. You definitely want to have your 5v5. And I think that is a great addition. Now, what's interesting about this is they said if you do have five players and say one of your players lags out, that lagged out player supposedly isn't gonna be playing the game. They're gonna substitute him and bring in some other mediocre player. That's what they were hinting at when they were discussing how the CPU players are gonna work. And that's interesting because that could be a problem if you have some 90 something rated guy when he leaves, he quits the game, or even if he doesn't quit the game, if he just gets lagged out, now he's dominating because he's the CPU. But even in that situation, it's still not gonna happen. So somehow they're gonna replace that player and just put a mediocre CPU guy. Next, 2K was discussing the no restrictions for player positions, and they were talking about how they have something in place to balance, because they've been looking at that seven foot small forward cheese the last few years, and even the seven foot two demigods, they said that that apparently is not gonna be happening this year. They're doing something with the game to balance it, so that people don't have these tall players running at every single position. We'll just have to wait and see what they're talking about and if it's actually true. Is it too good to be true? I don't know. Now about the leaderboards, 2K was hinting that they do have leaderboards for teams because in the trailer, you never see teams, you only see players, but they were hinting that they didn't wanna have just the leaderboard for the top crews, who's crew number one, who's crew number two, and blah, blah, blah. They wanted to have various leaderboards, and that's why they're doing it daily, monthly, weekly, overall. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, they also addressed the court logos. They said that there are gonna be filters for the images that you can upload into the game. Many people are worried that we're gonna be seeing a whole bunch of private parts on everybody's logos and jerseys, and they said, no, they're going to have filters. They didn't really go into too much detail. We'll just have to wait and see as well. LD2K also said that there's some kind of esports with NBA 2K16, and he was hinting that it had to do with the pro amp. Stay tuned for more information on that. Last but not least, the Euro teams are confirmed to be coming back. This is the Tony Parker cover of the game for France. We don't know if all the teams are coming, if they're adding new ones. We don't really know all those details. We'll find out later. As more information comes out, I'll be sure to let you know. Let me know what you think of all this new information in the comments below. Make It Splash and Shot Clock Cheese cases are now available for the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5S, and the iPhone 6. You can get these on my website at shop.chrismove.com. Ah, I wish that was a fade. The hook shot is always off for me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, Dwight, I see you, Dwight. Get back in the picture. You're not safe from these lobs. At any given minute, I'm letting it fly. 